Hey guys, I hope that you're having an amazing summer day. I am so excited because this week for our STEM activity, we're going to be creating a sundial. I don't know if you've ever heard of a sundial before, um, but a sundial is a tool, an instrument that we can use to tell time based on the sun and the shadows it creates. Um, which is pretty appropriate for this week, I believe, with how crazy sunny it's been outside. If you've been outside at all, you've definitely felt the sun shining down on you and all of the heat that it's bringing with it. Um, anyway, today we're going to make a sundial. I hope that you follow along. You don't need much for this experiment. Today I am using, um, you can use a paper plate that's already a circle or I'm using paper because I don't have a paper plate at my house. I have a styrofoam plate that has different compartments, but that won't work as well, I don't think. So I'm gonna use a paper, um, and I'm gonna use a piece of yarn, which isn't necessary, but if you have one, it'll be helpful if you're having to create your own circle. I have a pencil, I'm using a blue marker, and I'm using a straw from a restaurant. This straw is from Sonic. Um, I don't know how many of you have gotten to get a cold Sonic drink or slushy for the summer, but I already have. Um, so I'm using a straw. You can also use a popsicle stick. The first thing that we need to do is we need to cut a, as perfect of a circle as possible out of our piece of paper. If you have a paper plate, again, you don't need to do that, but I'm going to make a circle this is a neat trick. If you've never done this before, this is going to be really helpful. You're gonna tie a piece of yarn into a pencil if you have it and make sure it's really tight so it doesn't slip off. I'm gonna double knot mine like this. And then I am going to put my yarn, a piece of it in the middle to where it's somewhat tight, but to where I can make a circle around as much of the paper as possible. And now I am going to draw a circle like this. This is going to help me create a perfect circle. Make sure that you don't move. Oh no, it broke off. Don't move your finger though, or it's going to mess up your circle. So I'm going to try to get that back on. Okay, perfect. And I am going to make a complete circle. Okay. As you can see, it's not perfect. It's a little squiggly right there, but I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to cut it out as, as the best that I possibly can. So now I'm going to cut out my circle the best that I possibly can, like so, and I'm cutting it out, cutting it out the best that I possibly can. I hope that you will take more time cutting your circle out than I do and making your sundial as neat as possible so that it'll work the best possible way that it can. Now I'm going to use this side because this side has a few pencil markings on it from when I drew the circle. And next I'm gonna make a clock face on my sundial. So I'm gonna start with the number that's at the very top of a clock. Do you remember what number is at the very top of a clock? It's a number 12. So I'm gonna put a 12 at the top of my sundial like so. 12, it might be backwards in your video, but it's a number 12 at the top of our clock. I'm also going to put the one at the bottom because if I just start going around, the spacing is going to be all messed up. So the number that's at the bottom of the clock, does anybody remember? It's a six. So I'm going to put a six at the bottom of my sundial right here. You can use something to make sure you're getting it right at the bottom, like a straw or a ruler to get it as good as possible. Now, we're going to go to the sides of the clock before we fill in the space. So does anybody remember on this side between the 12 and the six and the right, right in the middle, what number we have? It's a three. And on the other side, it's a nine. So make sure that you get them as even as possible. Let me show you mine. Okay, now we're gonna fill in the spaces. So we know it goes 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11 and back to 12. So here's what my sundial looks like. It's as even as I could possibly get it just by looking. It's not gonna be perfect because I can't create anything perfect because I'm a human. However, I did the best that I could. Next, you're gonna poke a hole in the center of the sundial. It's important that you get it as close to the center as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a dot if you want to use a ruler to help you measure, you can. You can go from the top of your circle to the bottom, and mine is about seven and a half inches, and you can go and try to find halfway, which would be three and a half inches. So I got pretty close, close enough. Now I'm going to use a pencil to poke a hole in my sundial. You can also use um, scissors or you can use um, something else that's somewhat sharp. It doesn't have to be perfect, see? And now I'm going to try to put my straw through the hole in the center, just like so. Again, like I said, you can use a um, popsicle stick, you can use a pencil, anything you have that will work. So now if you see, I have my sundial with my straw poking through. Now I'm going to use some tape to secure my straw so it doesn't fall over whenever I take it outside. So let's hope that this tape works. You can also probably use glue. It just might take a little longer to dry. Hot glue would be ideal if your parents let you use that. I am just going to use tape. Tape is probably our easiest, our easiest method. See, look, it just took one little piece of tape. I think I'll put one tape on the piece on the back to help secure it. And because I don't want it to fall over, that's for sure. And we want it sticking up as straight as possible, okay? So now I have created a sundial. Now let's take it outside and I'll show you how it works. I'm so excited for this part. Now I'll see you outside in just a minute. Hey, I'm outside and it's a little bit windy, so I'm sorry about the noise. We're gonna have to be really careful with our sundials so they don't blow away. But I'm really excited to show you how this works. You might need a compass. If you have an iPhone or your parents have a phone, you can easily find a compass on there and take it outside because our 12 has to be facing the north direction. It has to be as close to north as possible in order for us to tell the right time. So here, let's try it out. I have my sundial and I'm going to put it right here. I might have to hold it a little bit and I'm gonna put 12 facing as north as possible. If you don't have a compass, um, north is pretty much facing Walmart. If you know where Walmart is from where you live, um, you should be able to tell that north is towards Walmart. So now I'm gonna hold this here and if my 12 is pointing north, you can see, oh, let's see. You can see that my clock says it is a little past one o'clock. Let's check my watch to make sure. Look, it's 1.26. And my clock shows, my sundial shows, that it's a little past one. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be pretty stinking close. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this activity. I hope that your sundial turned out well. I hope you're enjoying this time that you have in the sun. Um, let me see a picture of your sundial. Um, you can decorate it however you want. You can add as much detail as you want but I can't wait to see what you came up with. I'd love to see your sundial telling you the time in the sun. Bye guys, have a great rest of your day.